Yo, what's good people? See this right here, yeah? Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X. Let's talk about it. What's good people? It's your boy Jamo fam. Now, before mine goes any further, let me give a big shout out to the gang at Lenovo UK and Free Monkeys for hooking me up with this Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X for review now you know man like me i'm not really on the specs thing i'm on the actual performance like let's actually play games on it and let's actually do what i need to do on a normal laptop however the specs on this thing caught man slipping deep this year 12th gen i7 12700 yeah 32 gigabytes of ram clocked at 6000 megahertz cuz 6,000 megahertz, you know. One terabyte of NVMe PCIe 4 SSD. NVIDIA RTX 3050 graphics also on board in this small little chassis. And fam, Thunderbolt 4 ports, cuz. External GPU things, you're done, no. Now, specs out the way. Let me show you what I'm going for this thing, innit? All right, so this is the thing right here. Now, picking it up immediately, yeah, there's that premium weight to it. Even though it's got quite a small footprint, being a 14-inch laptop, fam, it feels weighty, but not too mad. Definitely not as big as my Lenovo gaming laptops. Now, on the top cover, um, not really much going on. We've got a little Yogo, Yogo, mad, Yoga logo in the bottom right, and we've got the Lenovo logo in the top left um on the left hand side now we got full size hdmi and two thunderbolt 4 usb-c with one supporting up to 100 watt pd fast charging and now if man switches to the right hand side from left to right we've got the privacy switch for the webcam we've got a 3.5 millimeter combo headphone and microphone port we've got one 3.2 um what's it called usb-a port which is capable of charging devices connected when the laptop is off as well and you've also got the power button there now on the back we don't have any connectivity i do like the clean look however when i'm connecting stuff to my laptops i also like all the ports to be at the back so when you open the laptop you know it looks a lot more tidier you don't see all the wires coming out the side but it is what it is on the front um yeah you got nothing as well and on the back you got like a little ventilation hole ting grill going on there with some rubber feet to stop it sliding around um, and it also looks like you got some screws so that we can take it off and have a look inside to see what they've got in terms of SSD bays and stuff like that so I might have a try and look at that later on but for now let's try the one finger test yeah okay guys I'm telling you if you can open a laptop with one finger without the lid or the bottom of the laptop doing that you know it's premium straight away but yeah fam the screen whoo now this is a glossy screen which I actually prefer however in terms of using it in outdoors conditions as you can see the reflections are literally doing the most <laughs> so it's best for low lit rooms but anyway screen specs yeah we're talking 3k resolution 16 by 10 120 hertz 14 inch screen cards now that's a lot for a little 14 inch laptop i don't even think i've heard of such a high quality screen in something so small 3k resolution you know it's all mad and you've obviously got the rtx 3050 power in it so yeah we're looking at the content creation low-key gaming thing going on right here keyboard backlighting yeah that looks lit as well obviously you haven't got the rgb thing because it's not a gaming laptop but um yeah definitely good enough to see it in good light and do you know what the key presses themselves yeah no i like the travel i like the clickiness obviously it's not a mechanical thing but it feels nice it sounds nice i'm not mad at it at all fam the key pressing sounds good the mouse mm, is it's not the worst mouse 
keypad, trackpad, whatever it's called. It's not the worst. Um, actually, do you know what? I can't lie. It's actually quite good. It does what it needs to do. Um, I can do all my multitasking and thing like that. Uh, let me see if I can do the, the little swipe when you're swiping left and right. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much cool. Now, the trackpad, I'm not mad at at all, fam. The trackpad is doing its thing, but I always prefer to use an external mouse anyway. But yeah, as far as keyboard and trackpad go, um, we're all nice here, fam. And that's not something I can say willy-nilly for any laptop I've tried. Uh, right, people. Now, you already know how man stays. I had to open up the thing to see what was really going on underneath the hood. And to be honest, there's not much at all, fam. You've got a little Wi-Fi chip here on the right-hand side. And you got the M.2 NVMe SSD on the left-hand side here, the one terabyte thing. No second SSD slot there, obviously. And it looks like the RAM is obviously soldered onto the motherboard. So no upgrading the RAM there either, fam. So pretty much just the SSD and Wi-Fi chip that you can swap out if you want to. But... Now see me here guys, I'm a very simple person. I play video games, I do a little content creation, I do a little web browsing. And as you guys have seen, this Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X has pretty much done it all flawlessly. However, there are a couple few little niggles that I have to mention because that's what I do. Niggle number one, Lenovo are marketing this thing as a content creator's laptop and I can't guess it definitely is that. However, how are you gonna do a content creator's laptop and forget to add an SD card slot? That means when I finish filming this video right now, I drag out my SD card, I have to then go find an SD to USB-C adapter before I can plug it directly into that laptop to edit. What about when I'm out and about? I don't wanna be living the dongle life when I'm out and about. I want stroop, straight in, you understand it? Furthermore, as you saw, when I popped open the thing, there wasn't that much room for upgradability, only literally the Wi-Fi card and the M.2 NVMe SSD card could be dragged out and hot swapped with something else. Now me personally, I would have preferred to just have another SSD bay because then that means that man can literally just slap a new SSD in there instead of having to think about all the stress of grabbing a new SSD, taking out the old SSD, replacing it with the new SSD and then reinstalling Windows on that new SSD or having to find some kind of way, some kind of <laughs> SSD caddies so I can copy the contents from SSD 1 to SSD 2. All long in it, man could just slap a new SSD in there and keep it going if it had two bays, but it is what it is. Now I can't lie, at this point I'm just nitpicking. All of the pros definitely outweigh those few cons that I've mentioned and there's even things that I haven't mentioned like the fact that it's so small and portable I didn't deep it until my partner literally said to me babes you actually don't carry 
your other laptop around like you carry this laptop around. And it's true fam, when I'm on my bike and I'm riding, you want weight to be as low as possible, especially me, innit? So me having an extra wham laptop with me, it's just long fam, when I can just carry this laptop, carry a little USB-C charger, keep it moving fam, it doesn't even feel like it's on my back. Furthermore, just comparing it to my big bulky MSI gaming laptop, most of the tasks, the power user tasks that I do on this, it doesn't even need to be plugged in fam. Man can literally play games with it plugged out and still get decent frames. Man can edit video with it being plugged out and get decent video processing times fam. That's just something you do not get on Windows gaming laptops. And if you're a Windows gaming laptop person, you know that you gotta have it plugged in to actually get what your laptop is supposed to give you on a Windows gaming laptop, innit? Bearing in mind all them things, it's a W from me.